Hello everyone and welcome back to another TSW2 video. Today we're going to be talking about the 1938 tube stock that will be coming to TSW2 by Rivet Games for the Baker Lulon. The first photo has been revealed as of Monday, September 20th, which was earlier this week. And I'm going to be taking a look at that photo in this video and walking you through some of the things I noticed and some of the things that should be known about the loco. Before we get into the video, I'm going to ask all of you to like it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you would like to support the channel even further, consider becoming a channel member with the link in the description. Let's get into it. So here we have the Twitter post from Rivet Games where it says sneak peek the London Underground Standard 1938 tube stock is coming to Train Sim World. Excited? Uh, I wouldn't say necessarily I'm excited for it, but I'm definitely interested in what they have to provide with us with this loco. Um, it has appeared in the upcoming section on the TSW2 roadmap now as of Tuesday, September 21st, the day I am recording this video. And it's actually right before the Brighton Mainline in that roadmap. Now, I assume that it wasn't released before the Brighton Mainline, but who knows? They might surprise us with an early release of the 38 stock. Now, some of you may know that we already kind of have the 38 stock in the game with the class 483 on the Isle of Wight uh, DLC. However, that is a modified 1938 stock that was originally from the tube. However, they modified it, shorned it by a couple of cars, and threw it on the island line. Uh, gave it better headlights and all of that extra stuff for use on the network rail system and the British rail system instead of in the actual tube network. Now, the differences are pretty minimal, uh, just some differences to the interior, a little bit of the different interior designs. I believe uh, the headlight configuration is a little bit different on the train, and we might see some different controls in the cab. But overall, there isn't much too different with the locomotive when compared to its Isle of White counterpart, and you can kind of see that with the interior. The only difference I notice here is the blue coloring scheme along with the wood paneling. Um... And other than that, there's not really much differences besides the advertisements in the Baker Lou line um, strip map. Um, so some of you may be wondering why are we getting the new 38 stock even though we already kind of have it in the game with the class 483. And I myself is kind of asking that same question, you know. I feel like the changes between the 38 stock and the 483 are pretty minimal. To justify a totally new DLC add-on, I really do hope it isn't overpriced, like the usual $19, um, $14.99, or in um, British pounds. I really hope it isn't the normal price because I feel like that would be a bit of a ripoff, you know. Um, we kind of already have the train in the game. Why would we be paying again for the same train with just a couple of modifications, you know? I do feel like it should be priced at maybe $10. I wouldn't go as far as to say $5, but definitely around $10 USD. Now, when Rivet Games posted this on Twitter, I did respond with a follow-up tweet asking if the Baker Lulan will get a new timetable when this DLC releases. And Rivet Games did respond to my tweet saying, yeah, it'll include its own timetable for the Baker Lulan. And then in parentheses, which has its own starting point in the regular timetable. Now, it's that last part that kind of confuses me. It says it'll include its own timetable for the Baker Lou line, which I'm assuming will be a timetable consisting of only 38 stock tube trains on the line or a mix of 72 and 38 stock because I do believe they ran together in revenue operation sometime in the 70s or 80s. Um, but which has its starting point in the regular timetable kind of confuses me and it makes me think uh, one of two different things. Either... We're getting the regular timetable and it's just incorporating some 38 stock trains as uh, substitutions. Or we're getting the totally new timetable, but that totally new timetable will follow all of the original times that the original timetable followed on the Baker Lou line. Which would honestly not be ideal for me, being that we had to kind of wait like 45 minutes for trains during certain off-peak times, which is... Highly unrealistic being that Baker Lou line trains, from what I remember, um, Baker Lou line operators telling me, come at around four to six minutes on a good day. 
Now it does seem a bit weird that they're including this 38 stock for the Baker Lou line when the route is set in TSW. The route is set in 2019 to 2020. Um, and the 38 stock was retired off of the underground in the mid to late 80s. So I'm not really sure how it'll fit into the route if it'll really look out of place or not with the sterile, clean looking stations on the underground currently to in contrast how they used to look in the past or dirty and beat up rats running around and all of that. So I'm really interested in how it'll look um, on the current tube system Baker Lou line uh, route that we currently have in TSW. It definitely does interest me. I feel like the trains are going to look either a bit out of place or they're just not going to operate too well along the line with the trains maybe not having the same type of acceleration capabilities and braking capabilities as the 72 stock. Now, one thing that I know they probably won't include with this DLC, but will be highly appreciated would be a guard mode. The old 38 stock trains used to run with a guard in one of the cars back in the day where the operator would stop at the station and the guard will open and close the doors on the train. Now the current 38 stock or the class 483 as we currently have it in the game doesn't include a guard mode to go along with it so I assume the Baker Lou line counterpart wouldn't have a guard mode to go along with it as well. Which would be unfortunate because as far as I know, there's no real way to unlock and open the doors in the cab from like the way the operator does it. The operator can't just stop at a station, press the door open button and have the doors open. I believe he's able to unlock the doors, meaning the train gets to the station, uh, make sure the brakes are applied and then press the door open button, which unlocks the doors and allows the guard to actually open all of the doors by pressing the button in the guard panel. Uh, it would be a highly appreciated feature if they did add it to the game and I've mentioned a conductor or a guard mode in the past for future and current routes that we already have in TSW. Um, but I assume that it's not going to be added, but it's not too much of a missed uh, feature, you know. It's still probably going to be a good DLC depending on how detailed it is. We know that Ribbit Games worked on the Cathcart Circle Line DLC and even though that was route building, they still have done a relatively good job with the way they have made certain trains in TSW. I just hope that this DLC doesn't go down the same path that the previous two DLCs went down with the Arosa Lines GE4-4 and the Class 483 from the Isle of Wight DLC with those having some horrible track noise and run, running noise and traction motor noise. They just reused a lot of the sounds from the LIRR M3 and the 1972 stock along with the track noise just sounding like, honestly, it sounds like horses running. It, it just sounds unrealistic and it breaks the immersion a lot i really do hope they learn from their previous mistakes and they add and incorporate some better sounds onto this route you know um maybe they could ask dtg or some people in the community to go out and grab some real sounds from the baker Lou line in terms of track noise and track clinks i'm not sure how they'll get sounds for the 38 stock but i really do hope the 38 stock sounds are improved from what we've seen in the isle of white dlc Hope a lot of care was put into this train because it, while it is or does seem a, like a kind of pointless DLC, it is something that a lot of people are, are keeping their eyes on and kind of wondering to see how it will do and how much work and effort will be put into it uh, to really provide a nice and detailed train for use on the Baker Lou line. That's just my thoughts on the new uh, screenshot that they've released for the 38 stock and the new information they've given us for the 38 stock coming to the Baker Lou line and CSW2. If you have any thoughts about this train or about the route, put it down in the comment section down below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and become a channel member if you would like to support the channel even further. Peace.